just this morning we um got to know that jumia would be ending the operations of jumia food in um a few six nigeria and six other african countries and um this is coming at a time where where they still never <laughs> <laughs> made profit yeah Sorry. i didn't mean that to be offensive but yeah and um the reasons are <clears throat> They're diverse, and uh, there are other speculations also around this. Um, but the main thing is that um, they are stopping operations, and uh, they are, um, seems the seems that seems the service is not bringing the necessary profit that it's supposed to bring. And um, since the let, let me just say what the um, the CEO said said it's better to they would rather focus more on the physical goods business. Because they know that it is there that the potential for Jumia to grow lies, and it's also the, the path to productivity, to profitability, profitability rather. Yeah. And um, they would rather take this decision and f- um, to focus on management, on the team, on capital resources, and just focus on those for the opportunities. So it's from this I could infer that they are not making much more profit, much profit from Jumia Foods, and um, they are um, stopping the operations. But there are other conversations around it. For instance, um, a child egg here, and <laughs> like the new entrance. Like the new yeah. entrance. Why are they? Why are the new entrants not complaining this much, or why are they sh- giving numbers that they are doing well, and Jumia Food is saying we are closing? You know, I saw a tweet recently, and it was was that um when you start you'll know why um <laughs> it's well, an untapped oh, market. market yes yeah. yes yeah, that's what is good yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, like, it's, yeah. It's, i think it's very it's very um apt in mm-hmm. like i mean juma food has been around for a bit for a minute i yes. remember that yeah exactly. w- was it not and so the question should be that what do they know that we don't hmm. and also like you know other businesses are not profitable too so yes. the new entrance, Glovor, Child Egg, I mean, both food eggs dead in market too. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, none, of, none of them is profitable. And for Jumia, it's a public traded company. Yeah. For mm-hmm. them, it matters more than the others that they become profitable. Mm-hmm. Since they've run out a loss for, you know, almost, I mean, since they went public in 2016, or no, 2019, or 2016, one of them. Yeah. Okay. So it's like, um, it's important since this, the new CEO came in, Francis um, Dufay. It's like yeah. oh hammering on profitability, cutting down costs, whatever. So before um, these seven markets, right, they also shut down the food delivery business in three other markets last year. Mm, okay. So now they've exited all their markets, eleven markets, right? Food um, delivery. Food doesn't exist anywhere, right? Yeah. When they leave yeah. This, so now focusing on f- uh, what's it called, um, um, fiscal um, goods. Uh, so that's for um, high ticket items like electronics, mm, like yeah. you know items that do have that are not perishable, like yeah, food, like for food. instance. And you don't have the whole, you know. Um, so for for food, for instance, there's a high, let's say frequency, mm. right? But then yeah. the, 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 the the margin is very, very low. Is, for, the yeah. other, for the other um, items, you know, um, fashion for electronics and the other um, big ticket items like plat- um, items on Jumia platform right that's what they want to focus on yeah. and they've been able to grow prof- profitably in three markets so far right from last year from when the ceo came in last year mm-hmm. to this year yeah. right and now it's like trying to replicate that three um the growth or the profitability in those three markets mm-hmm. across the mm-hmm. other markets so yeah. it makes sense for him to do that but problem now is revenues will kind of drop because you know the food delivery um space was, was like think same same yeah, will be was the second same, fastest same. growing um se- segments after fashion yeah. and like i think the fastest um no fastest growing and second item sold after fashion right on mm-hmm. jimmy like in a while so they lose money from there but also to help them you know streamline their expenses. Yeah, expenses right and he said something about moving some of the personals from there to from the, yeah. so i mean there'll be some layoffs right and all that the we are back to the whole you know new entrance like child egg and glovo it's like you know they've been in the market for two three years yes you've not put in the amount of capital that you Jumia mean, has. Yeah, no, and enough. now it's like for them they have to go on after those you know the the users that Jumia no longer serving yeah, so I, I think a lot of um is it microeconomics um 
factors affect when it uh, affects businesses that has to do with food. Mm -hmm. But then since it's vendors, it's like a marketplace for food vendors. I don't know how it's actually. Is it the infrastructure that is taking the money for mm -hmm. Jumia Foods or... I really don't understand. It's not Jumia that is doing like the, the food business. Yeah, like it's the very, yeah. very capital intensive. Oh, logistics. You have to manage those bikes. Mm -hmm. You have to do all of these things. You have to pay members. the personnel as well. Mm. They're like other offline things. And it's not third like party. Yeah. No. It's the, like the mm. riders are like their the payroll, employees yeah. on their exactly. payroll. Interesting. I feel like there'll be some riders that you know do Maybe. multiple well, jobs. But most of them are like personal drivers. Yeah, they do. I think that's that's the case. Drivers eating yeah, I mean, food. yeah, there's a lot of that. <laughs> and again, I'm still going back to the margin that is really low. Very low. Like, it's not it's not a thing where you have to, you, you cannot be profitable if you don't do like millions and millions of orders every, maybe every week, every, every month, week. for it to make sense. And it's interesting to see that as Jumia is exiting, there are other people who are, they seem to be doing well. I mean, yeah. we don't know how well, yeah. but from what I mean, we, we know see, for, for child deck, right? In terms of like GMV, not. Yeah, I mean, again, I'm. I don't know. I'm very skeptical that. about when startups put out numbers. What? I actually like it. Like it shows yeah, that oh, because you do something they right. be lying sometimes, my bro. <laughs> Did you understand? And yeah. so it's um. I it's, get you. I so get you have point. to think, take some things with like with a pinch of salt because mm. you know that. I mean, it's it might be true. I'm not saying it's mm -hmm. not true, but I just always like say, mm, okay, maybe it's true, maybe it's not. But I'm not going to go and start quoting you anywhere else. Yeah, so, <coughs> and even time uh, will tell. Like, yeah, exactly. uh, yes, time, time, like time, like time will tell. I always say I'm rooting for everybody. Of course. <laughs> <Fair> <laughs> yeah, enough. so I hope that um, they do well and then they prove everybody wrong. And uh, in a way, it seems um, well. Glover and Chowdeck now has like, like a, I don't know, maybe a shift of customers. Like customers that have not always used them, that used to use Jumia Foods. Yeah, now, yeah now. exactly. Yeah. Like so me, for example. More now. I'm yeah. a very good example. I used to use Jumia Foods, but then yeah. I discovered Glover and Chowdeck, and I'm okay. And now that Jumia yeah, Foods exactly. is no more, no longer, no I hope, longer I hope they make use of this. So they have to kind of raise more money, right? Yeah. To to save the to customers. No, no, like to, I mean, cater to them because they have an like influx of new customers orders, right they have now and all that. Like to invest in infrastructure, yeah. yeah. And then they had, um, Z, Chowdeck uh, had a partnership recently with, with ShopRite. Yeah, so now they're into grocery it, delivery. Honestly. And I don't know, I feel like that shift of, yeah, Global 2 has that. Yeah, and that. It's good. It's good for It's good, but for, for me, the, the shift of focus is, it's not a shift of focus, just like adding Grocery I delivery mean, I to think the it's, food it's element. Look at it from like an expansion perspective. Okay, we have done food. I mean, I don't know whether they are very like. Um, yeah, there's still more. To there's do. still more to exactly. do. Fine, so but grocery to it I mean, when you look at it from that, okay, we've been able in. to dominate this market to an extent. Mm -hmm. What's the next thing? And mm -hmm. then they are doing this. It's not like they're abandoning the food thing. I, is that what I'm saying? Yeah. So, if for instance you raise like twenty million dollars, I don't know how much child has raised, mm -hmm. right? Oh, Ricky. Oh, Ricky. <laughs> publicly available data yeah, exactly <laughs> exactly so i mean i'm pretty sure it probably raised more than money. that mm. right because i love it that nobody knows i'm sorry to you guys in media yeah. <laughs> but we need people to stop telling us these things uh, Just I, I, fist, I mean raise your money and fix your work <laughs> so Fair what enough. are we gonna be doing do you guys you don't, you don't have <laughs> <laughs> spa, spa. no like, i'm talking about the money raising part yeah, yeah, in yeah. particular yeah. i mean that's so not it, the only thing that is happening in the yeah that things are yeah, happening that there's a signal of prosperity is it, is it though so if i see that charlie has just 500 key huh? me as a developer now but i want to work there do I know that if, if they have enough runway, right, to mm. sustain, like, I mean, it but makes more sense, like, if I say company has raised 10 million yeah. and they just raised, like, last year, mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, they have, like, you know, 18 months, 24 months for me. <laughs> but they shut down. For 500k, I'm not really <laughs> sure, yeah. right? It's like, oh, so <laughs> no. if I join in, in two months, will this company still be alive, right? Mm, so and that's, as in, not that's just security that, again. Exactly, no, right? Just so for, for the employees, too, it's yeah. also important that they have an idea of, okay, you know what the company looks like it has in terms of runway yeah, no. so yeah i mean if child has raised more than that maybe 10 20 it makes sense for them to juggle food delivery and i and guess what you mean actually right <laughs> I'm just, so now for instance they've added the grocery part from Shoprite, and now they have more customers from food from you know jimmy food closing down mm -hmm. so it's like you know they have to to like they can't up, reject those co customers right so yeah, they have yeah. to of course others you know, will keep coming up mm. their game and all that Hopefully they race soon or they 
I mean, the thing He's, about raising money is so easy to talk about, and you you don't know like a lot of people, yeah. especially in this market, like in this present day and age, where mm-hmm. people are struggling. People have been raising money since twenty twenty. <laughs> They've not closed. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah, and it's not. It's not. I'm, I mean, that's that may be a stretch or an exaggeration, but that's the point. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is that it's not as easy to raise money as it. Usually. Yeah, it's not. Mm-hmm. And so you can imagine why they would think that you know what we are doing food, but let's do something else that would then support. Yeah, because at the like end of the day, you have to make money, to re- revenue. make revenue. Yes, exactly. So that you don't rely on investment all the time. Because mm-hmm. where's the invest? Where's the money really? Yeah, yeah. Like that's people are not why really we raising funds of, anymore. Of, 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 exactly. lay, of layoffs and um, exactly. shutdowns because, because they're trying to like slip and um, streamline their operations. Well, so yeah, that's usually the convenient excuse. No, it's true. But I hear it. So I said we are not going to drag startups that <laughs> shut down today. So no, but I pity I pity Chowdhury because they're competing with Glove that has raised over a billion mm. dollars but part of like the money that Glover has is f- across its 25 markets actually yeah exactly and I think it's just 60 million they're trying to spread across Africa I don't know how many markets they are in Africa 60 million does yeah. Chowdeck have 60 million Chowdeck is just Nigeria come on yeah I know it's so like Lagos. if, if they have outside of Lagos I think they're expanding to Ibado or something oh, really? yeah and some that's, other markets nice. like PH yeah oh, really mm-hmm. yeah. but like for if Glover for instance is in 10 money. markets in Africa so that's like six million across it, mm-hmm. like each of them. I can't. I'm not. I'm not sure, right? If there's, if it's, it's still ten a market, lot. yeah, six. I mean, child can raise up to that in seeds, like based on the traction, right, that they have right now. Mm. I feel like, oh, if and if investors know that, okay, Jimmy Food is no longer there as the major competitor. It's just Glover now. And they can sell that story. <coughs> exactly. Say, like, know, well, we, we need to raise more money to be able to meet up with the orders that we yeah. have. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, I, I think we should. That, that's that's a good one, and um, it's good to discuss this kind of things that happen because the running a business or running a startup, for instance, in this space, the African space. I think somebody um, screenshot um, Emmanuel's. They saw Betty in the article announcing this um, this shutdown of operations. That every landscape in Africa is very very difficult it's complex to work in mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it goes across every business fintech um Web e-commerce <laughs> edtech you said Web3. 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 <laughs> crypto everywhere everyone is about Web3 by all right <laughs>